hello everyone so now let's do one basic lab i hope you remember in our previous class we already learned how we can install and download the packet tracer so now we are going to do basic lab in the packet tracer later i am going to teach you more detail but now let's see the basic lab in the packet tracer okay i know you are the beginner you are the new guys who are entering in the networking so this is the best software for uh, learning the ccna this is a cisco packet tracer software i am using the version 8.1.1.0022 okay so you can download as i discussed before and install that one later we will do more labs in this one so this is the initial class for our live batch okay so later we are going in detail so let's do the basic lab this is a packet tracer already we discuss about this one now let's do the basic lab if you see if we select here we will have the end devices here okay and we can take two computer i will take pc1 and pc2 if you want we can zoom in from here if you see i make zoom in i have pc1 i have pc2 if i want i can rename here i can give the name pc1 and i will write the ip whatever ip i am planning to give i will put as a label okay so this one i give pc1 and i, I am planning to give the ip to this machine as 192.168.1.1 and i will go here i will uh, do here also same just i am putting the label okay even if you did not put no issue just i put the label and i will use the cable this is the option to take the cable click this one you have the multiple cable which cable we want to use we can use from here this one is automatically it will select depending upon the device automatically choose the connection type if we take this one if you are taking this is a console cable if you are taking this is a copper straight through if you are using this copper crossover cable so if you know like similar device dissimilar device which cable we need to use we can go here and we can use that one or initially if you want to connect directly select this auto automatic cable and click here and click here so automatically cable is connected and cable is selected which this one cross over cable copper crossover whenever we are connecting the same device we are going to use the cross cable whenever we are connecting the different device we are going to use the straight cable so both are having the same device both are the computer so we are going to use the cross cable so now i connected two machine now we are going to see how we can assign the ip address to this machine click this one and click desktop click ip config and type here whatever ip you want to assign you type here here we already put the label so we can put the same ip i want to assign the same ip i will write 192.168.1.1 and this is a default subnet mask whatever is coming we will keep that one only because we are using the class c ip in the class c we will have three time 255.255.255.0 okay no need to give the default gateway because we don't have the gateway here we are not using any gateway later we will see that one okay so just i assign the ip so if you keep here mouse you will see here what you will see you will see here we have this ip address here now let me go to the pc2 and assign that one i click then i will go to the desktop i will click the ip config then here i am going to type the ip as per our label we are going to we plan to give this ip 192.168.2 so if you see i write here automatically i get the subnet mask this is only the subnet mask which we are planning to use this is a class c okay just i assign here so both the machine is having the ip now let me go and try to check both are working or not both are communicating or not how we can check both are communicating or not click the pc you will have the command prompt click this one okay this is like a command prompt of our machine okay click that one and type here first i will write ip config with the typing ip config i can check i have the ip address and the subnet mask for my pc1 okay 
now i need to ping so what i will do i will write here ping and the other pc ip address i will write 192.168.1.2 and press enter so reply is coming so both are communicating both are communicating this is a pc1 is communicating with the pc2 pc1 is communicating with the pc2 because both are in the same network imagine here if we have 192.168.2.2 or 2.1 then they will have different network then they cannot communicate to make the communication between different network we need to use the router so later we are going to see that one also okay in our next class we are going to learn how we can use the router to make the communication between two different network okay thank you